Today is uh, Tuesday, February 4th, 2014, and uh, I am feeling amazingly great. It is, um, it is uh, totally different from how I felt uh, two days ago when uh, I recorded a video, a private video, uh, for my own, uh, I guess, video journal in a way. That, um, you know, I've just been so depressed the last couple months um, after getting back from Utah and, and uh, thinking about, okay, I can possibly look at a cure, but uh, about all the risks, I have so many questions um, and uh, wondering if I do it, will I, you know, am I risking my future and my life and, uh, and will I even have a life afterwards, even maybe I'll get cured, but something else takes its place because of uh, killing off my whole immune system. Well, right now, um, I don't feel that way. And, and yesterday, um, it was because I got to see uh, Dr. Sarpa, and uh, she gave me a lot of a lot of answers about you know, including her having done a uh, used rituximab before on some other patients. Not the same thing that I I've gotten to the, that I have, but. Um, you know, none of the the ten or so people that she's worked with had have had problems. Uh, you know, they've been cured, actually cured. So the more that I asked her about it, and, and she said I didn't even have to be in the clean room, uh, in my own uh, in quarantined away from everybody else, while my immune system is is um, regenerating itself. So. So the more I, I thought about it, you know, I, I was up all night thinking about getting more and more positive and thinking about all the possibilities. I didn't even sleep all that much last night, and most, uh, you know, for the last couple of months, any day that I've, even on days that I slept well, I've been really, just really down and just didn't have a lot of energy to, to want to do much, and, and you know, I was even thinking, yeah, you know, um, I was just so exhausted from from fighting it and holding on it and being paranoid about everywhere that I go. Um, that I need to protect myself from it. That that there was just uh, no. I didn't really see a point in in fighting. I, you know, I wasn't suicidal or anything, but you know, I kept thinking to myself, I would be relieved. Um, if I had to go, if I had, if I, if I died, whenever, whenever I die, I would be really relieved, and just to have all of this be over. Uh, but you know, just a couple hours later today, you know, I'm looking at everything and I'm thinking everything is a possibility now. Everything that I saw as a restriction or as a danger. Um, could be a new future, you know. I maybe I'll pick up learning the guitar. I couldn't really do it before because my joints would swell whenever I try to push down on the guitar strings or anything. You know, maybe I'll become a foodie. I don't know. Maybe I'll live by the ocean and eat a lot of seafood. Again, these are things that I can't uh, pos that I never imagined possibly doing. Maybe I'll go uh, travel the world. I I, I don't know. Um, before all the, those things, every time I thought of those things, I just um, instinctively thought of all the challenges that those things presented, how many things I had to prepare, how much suffering I would have to go through, even when I travel, I don't, uh, you know, I never really fully enjoy myself in any social activities or with other people, and, and now I'm actually thinking, thinking I can, so... What a difference a mental um, a mindset makes. Uh, nothing's really changed from yesterday to today or last month to this month. Um, and I just feel like a whole new person. I feel happy. I feel inspired. I feel like uh, uh, there are opportunities and I have a future instead of uh, f a future that's too exhausting and, and too... Uh, that, that's just too much and w without some positive reward that's gonna come out of it that you know I just I guess that I just stopped trying or or thinking it was worth trying so it also got me thinking of all these 
uh, daily sufferings and and fi uh, fighting off, basically fighting off the whole world. Um, and I guess I, I don't know if I have learned the lessons that I should have. You know, if I get well now, if I get cured now, have I learned everything that I was supposed to, such as this mindset thing? You know, I feel like with all that I've gone through, I should have some superpower where I can magically control my mood and um, summon some kind of uh, uh, intense mindset to to be positive all the time. Well, I, I guess I do summon a lot of uh, positive energy to get through things, and when I go out with friends, um, when I shouldn't, well, nothing that I done in this life including survive none of that I, uh, should have been possible so that's a certain type of mentality but I guess I'm just not really proud of myself for having um, gone down you know ha having gone depressed and having to uh, having to lose hope instead of always being positive um, I try to show a good uh, positive face when I go out with friends or when I do one of these videos just to to help everybody out, um, keep people inspired, and and most of the days, I guess most of the times, I'm okay. But uh, you know, I just uh, I guess I wish I'm fully in control of my mindset and and mental state, where and I don't feel that I've uh, I've accomplished that. So, um, maybe until I do get better, um, until I do try to touch some ab and, and the cure comes, this is something I can, I can work on. So for, you know, for all the ventures I'm going to have in the future that I, I can do, um, I'll have that mindset and, and all the other lessons that I've been forced to learn in my life, ha have that, have those with me because I don't think I could, uh, even start to think about those those lessons and those um, s skills as something positive in such a such a tough situation. If I hadn't been forced into such uh, this life and having had so many challenges, uh, moment by moment, being constantly aware of. Uh, what people around me are doing. Um, whenever I'm walking, I'm I'm kind of like have, have my spidey sense or or uh, paranoia sense going off. I'm looking at every everybody's uh, hand, seeing if somebody's holding a smoke, um, or um, at the same time, you know, I'm sniffing out something just to see if there's cologne or or smells that be uh, allergic to. And at the same time, I'm sensing how I'm feeling if I'm if I'm itching or if there's something swelling up or um, this and that and and energy crashes constantly so I'm focusing on uh, my muscles and and trying to stay stay vertical and stay awake and and eat, whether I'm driving or I'm walking it's all not a lot of fun so um, ho hoping I can leave that behind but still keep all the the training and how all those things have changed me with me um, as I go forward. Uh, just some thoughts for today. It's a good day. Seven in the morning. I didn't really sleep, and I'm having a great day already.